Hello everyone. Uh, this is the second problem on regression. Uh, the question is sales in crores of rupees of a two wheeler company for the past seven years and the R&D research and development expenditure in lakhs of rupees are summarized below. So they gave us data for seven years and each year how much is the uh, R&D expenses and what is the sales for that particular year. Question is determine using mean square error which regression model is preferable for forecasting whether it is x, y, x on y you have to use or y on x you have to use that you have to determine which one is better using the mean square error primarily let us understand the mean square error uh, for that we need to first understand the error uh, error is nothing but your uh, let me write here error is your uh, let me say actual value minus forecast value suppose if I am doing uh, y on x then my actual value may be your y that is sales and the forecast value we call it as y cap this is error of uh, i can say y on x right and then if i say error of x on y then it is actual value of this let me put it as actual value y forecast value y so here it will be actual value of x minus forecast value of x so that will be called as uh, actual value of x will be x and forecast value will call it as x cap means for evaluating y cap we need to uh, first of all find out what is the let me say let uh, y cap equal to a plus b times x be the regression equation uh, y on x so then we can say by then by method of least squares then by method of least squares the normal equations are or some y so y cap i am saying because we are going to estimate but otherwise we can consider that as y only so some y is equal to n a plus b times some x this is our let me call this as equation one this is our equation two okay then sum xy equal to a summation x plus b summation x this we had seen in our previous video also and uh, before that theoretical aspects when we studied about regression that time also we had seen these normal equations so if i have to uh, estimate this uh, formulate this equation that is y cap equal to a plus bx or y equal to a plus bx I need to first solve this and find out what is the value of a and b right so if i uh, have to do that i may have to find out using this data what is some y what is some x what is some x y what is some x square etc and n of course we know there are seven pairs of data so n will be seven only okay similarly let x cap that is our estimated value of x equal to c plus dy b this is B. B, the regression equation x on y. Let me call this as equation 4. Then by method of least squares, method of least squares, the normal equations are 
equations are here we have we will have sum x equal to n times c plus t sum y. Call this as equation phi. Then sum x y equal to uh, c sum y plus d sum y square. This will be our sixth equation. Right. So in order to now find out the values of a, b, only then you can able to estimate this uh, regression line uh, y cap equal to minus b. Similarly, after finding c and d only, you will be able to formulate this regression equation example. So we will first form this table as below. So wherein I am writing these, let me take it to the next page only, this one. I am writing this table wherein I am writing the same values what is given in the question, x values, y values. Then from the equations, we know we need to find out what is x, y, what is x square, what is y square, and then find out the totals. You got these totals. Now, uh, for estimating, we need to substitute this means let me first substitute this equation two, right? What is equation two? It is uh, some y, where is some y? It is 600. So 600 is equal to seven times a because n times a, here it is n times a plus b into summation x. What is summation x? It is 210. So 210 times, sorry, it is 210 times b. Okay, and then using third equation, what is third equation? It is sum xy. What is sum xy? Sum xy is 20550. 20, is equal to what? Equal to a summation x. Summation x is 210. So 210 times a plus, plus what? Uh, b sum x square. What is summation x square? It is 7000. So 7000 times b. So if I have to solve this, I will use, we will, let me, first, sorry. sorry. Let me first drop this. So here I will say we will use we will use Kramer's rule of determinants to find the values of you can use any method I am using Kramer's rule values of A and B, right? Uh, uh, to solve these two simultaneous linear equations, right? That is what the idea is. So what is Kramer's rule? First, I will be finding out what is called as delta. Delta will be the determinant. Let me say determinant. What is the determinant? It will be 7, 210, 210, 7000. So I will write as 7, 210, 210, 7000. So if I evaluate this determinant, I will get 4900. Then we'll have to find out what is delta A. So what, how do we write delta A in the form of a determinant? Whatever is the constants, this will get replaced instead of 7 and 210. Means here in the first column, I will write 600. And then the second constant, which is 2550. Second column will remain as it is 210 and 7000. And then evaluate this determinant. I will have this. This, if I evaluate this determinant, will give me negative 1155. Then the third one, that is delta. B, 
will be how do i write delta v wherever the constant the coefficients of b are there that will get substituted or replaced with the 600 and 220550 means the first column will remain the same as delta 7 210 whereas the second column will be replaced with that constants 600 and then 20,550. So by this, I will get 17,850. So therefore, we will have A will be delta A divided by delta, which is this 11 minus uh, negative 11,555, sorry, not 11,000, double one, double five, double zero divided by 4,900. If you evaluate that, you will get the A value as, let me write that, 115500 divided by 4900. This will give me the A value as negative 23.57. Similarly, B value will be delta B by delta, which will be 17,850 divided by 4,900. Instead of solving A and B values like this, you can even go for uh, elimination method or substitution method. You can do that also. I am just uh, using this Kramer's rule of determinants to solve it so that I can get simultaneously what is A and what is B. So if I do this, I will get the B value as 3.64. Okay, now we got A and B value. So therefore, our Y cap will be A, that is 23.57, plus B times, that is 3.64 times X. So this is the first part. Uh, I mean, to form, uh, this is our regression, is our regression line y on x so this is one part now we have to do the other one that is x on y so let me write that let x equal to c plus dy be there already we wrote isn't it yeah, I wrote already. So let us not write it now. Let me just directly write the equations. So here we have, let me say, what is that equation number? Fifth equation. So fifth equation gives us Summation x, summation x is what? Summation x is 210. So two, fifth equation, summation x, which is 210, is equal to n times, that is 7 times c plus uh, 600 times d, isn't it? Because what it is, sum x equal to n c plus d sum y. Sum y we know it is. 600 from the table, here it is 600 from the table, so I wrote 600 times t. Then the next equation, that is 6, uh, sorry, next equation is 6th equation. If I use 6th equation, what is 6th equation? 6th equation is sum xy, sum xy is 20550 is equal to c times sum y, which is 600, plus y square. y square is what? y square is 61,650. So I have to put all those values. So now I can say uh, sum xy, which is 2, 2, sum xy, which is 20550 20 
डबल फाइव जीरो इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज इक्वल टू सी टाइम्स सम वाई सट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड टाइम्स सी प्लस वट इज दिक्स इक्वेशन अगेन सम वाई स्क्वायर इन टू डी वट इज सम वाई स्क्वायर सम वाई स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटी वन सिक्स फाइव जीरो times d now so if i have to solve this again i'll form a determinant first i will call delta what will be delta delta will be 7 600 then 600 61000 650 if i evaluate this determinant i will land up with 71 Double five zero. Then I will write delta c. What is the determinant? It will be two hundred and ten two zero double five zero. Replacing those coefficients of c with the coefficients of constants, then six hundred. This will remain as it is, six five zero. If I evaluate this, I will get sixty one six five double zero. then let me write next one next one is delta d delta d will be 7 600 whereas here it will become the constants 210 20000550 if i evaluate this i will get 17850 so our c will be Delta C by delta, which is sixty one six five double zero divided by seventy one double five zero, so C will be eight point six two. Then D, what will be D? It is delta D divided by delta, which is seventeen thousand eight five zero divided by seventy one double five zero. If I evaluate that, I will get zero point two five. so i can say therefore regression equation x on y is i'll call that as x cap because we are going to estimate the values equal to c c is 8.62 8.62 plus t times So we got both these equations. So now that we got all the equation values, I substituted here. If you look into first equation, minus twenty three point five seven plus three point six four x. So here the same thing is written in this column, and this one, whatever x cap, that is written here in this column. So that now we can start evaluating uh, the values. Means first substituting x for fifteen, so negative twenty three point five seven plus three point six four times fifteen, we get this thirty one point zero seven. Likewise, second value x will be replaced with twenty to get this. Likewise, we calculate all the y cap values. Similarly, x cap values, first value you will be substituting y for thirty, second value you substitute y for forty five. to get all this x cap values what is all this these all this y caps are estimated values of y let me write here y cap is estimated values of y and x cap is estimated values of x so we are evaluating both estimated values of y and estimated values of x then we are finding here the error square when i say y minus y cap that is nothing but error in y error in y and uh, x minus x cap is error in x now the question talks about mean square error right so mean square error means 
you have to square the errors, sum all the errors and square it divided by the number of pairs of observation. That is what is mean square error. So that we are calculating in the subsequent columns, next columns, that is y minus y cap, the square, I calculate each one means 31.07, uh, here it is 30. So 30 minus 31.07, whatever result I got, I squared it. Similarly, the next value, 45 minus 49.29, whatever value I'm getting, I'm squaring it. Then I'm summing all those things to get this 932.14. Similarly for X cap, sorry, for X minus X cap also, means first value is 15 minus 16.1, whatever value you get, you squared that. Likewise, the next value, and then you sum all those error squares to find out what will be the mean square error for both X on Y as well as Y on X equation. So you got the values like this. Now, mean square error for Y on X equation, we got it as 133.16. Mean square error for X on Y equation, we got it as 9. So we can now conclude. Conclusion. Since mean square error for X on Y is definitely lesser than mean square error of Y on X. We will prefer the regression model, regression model X on Y instead of Y on X. Means what? It is preferable uh, to estimate, it is preferable to estimate uh, what should be the R&D expenditure for a, ex for a given sales. Means sales should be known to me or I can say this is the sales, what can be the R&D expenditure. That will be a much better uh, model than the otherwise. Means uh, it is better to go for finding out what should be X value for a given Y value rather than going for finding what should be the Y value for a given X value. That is what it means about this conclusion, right? So this is what is mean square error and based on the mean square error, which model you can prefer, you can estimate like this, right? So hope you find this contents of this video to be useful to you. In case if you find it useful, I request you to please like and then share to your friends and also subscribe to my channel.